Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries we have a really cool kitchen gadget that I would not seen before. So when I spotted it at the store I thought holy cow we need to try this bacon gadget. Guys they have combined bacon and a toaster and they've come up with a bacon toaster. What is this? Who are the geniuses that came up with a toaster that cooks up bacon perfectly? It also says healthy. I don't know of any gadget that will make bacon healthy unless you're buying like a turkey bacon, but just regular bacon, I don't know about that. This gadget is made by a company called Nostalgia and I have reviewed one of their other gadgets which was the vintage hot dog roller, which I absolutely loved. So I thought, oh, this might be a winner and I might have a bacon toaster at home now. So what do I have? I have a lot of bacon here and I have my bacon express. So we're gonna make some bacon today. If you're not following me on Facebook, you need to because a couple of weeks back, we took a poll on how crispy or raw should the perfect bacon be. And a lot of you guys voted. That actual poll was such a huge hit. I'm like, everybody loves bacon. And you can tell by the results. I'm imagining this like a, just like a regular toaster. <laughs> I don't know. But that's what it looks like to me. Okay. Boom. Instructions. How nice is this? Wow. Are you guys impressed? Look, it's like vintage-y looking. Here's some more instructions on the back. Let's see. What? Look at that, guys. How fancy is this thing? It is in the shape of a toaster, but it doesn't look like a toaster. Toaster doesn't open up like this, I don't think. I've never seen a toaster do that, so this is pretty unique. And it's black, kind of vintage-y. I didn't even realize that when I first bought it. it kind of has a retro look to it. I love it. Instructions say, add six strips of thick or thin bacon, close doors, set crispiness, enjoy perfectly cooked bacon. Oh my God. So what we'll test is three strips of bacon at like a medium crispiness, and then we'll try three strips of bacon at the crispiest level to see what we get. It has a small tray at the bottom that will catch all of the yummy, not healthy for you liquid gold that we collect from the bacon. It's collected down here. If you have hot problems, you should throw it away. But if you don't, mm, girl, reuse that. <laughs> On the other side here, you have your little crispiness level knob power thing. So what you do is you're gonna put your bacon like this, one, two you just lay it over this little thing like that one two three we're just going to do three because i want to test a couple of different crispinesses of the bacon okay so on the side here you have the option for thin thick crispy crispy er crispy <laughs> right there it also says that when you open this up like this to clean this guy there's two little tabs here that you can pull up to remove the plates on the side so that you can clean it whenever you need to. Another tip that the instructions gave, try not to overlap the bacon. We're only going to try three pieces so they should not touch. Now, let's start putting them in here. Here's our first one. One. Oh, why is it long? Is that okay that it's long like that? Maybe I should turn it like this. Two. Da -da. One more, three, voila, beautiful. They're not touching, let's close it. Da -da. <laughs> we gotta step back, we gotta take it off, take it off. We need to preheat, I forgot, there is a preheat step and I think you need to preheat before you put your bacon in. So that, oh, that one just, I tore that one up. So let's close it back up. So we want to turn the knob to preheat, which is right here. Then we want to push the little button. Okay. How cool is this gadget? Have you ever seen anything like this for bacon? 
No. So the reason that they claim that it's healthier is because that bacon is not cooking in the actual bacon grease. It's actually dripping to the tray underneath. So that's the reason they're claiming this is healthier. I don't know about all that, but it's going to be yum. You can't ruin bacon. You can't mess that up. I mean, you could if you overcooked it, but or undercooked it. That's nasty. Mm -mm. Don't eat raw bacon. That's gross. Don't do that. Okay, it's ready now. Open it back up. Oh, why is that like that? Wait, why are the, what? What? <laughs> what? what just happened to my bacon thing? The little plates came off. Did I do something to pull them off? But they're hot now because I preheated this stupid thing. Mm. Okay, let me pull this one out. Okay, come on now. What's happening here? I don't know why they're falling out. Insert top first, install caution. Okay, what happened? Oh, I don't know what just happened. I don't like it. Okay, bacon, again, three slices. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Two, one. Ooh, it's already hot. One. It's Vivian, work fast. I don't know why I have to work fast, two. I don't want all the heat to come out, I think. That's why. Three. There we go. We got our three slices of bacon. Now let's close it. Now let's pick our setting. So we're gonna pick. Let's go ahead and start with the crispiest setting we can get. So I've pushed the knob all the way over to crispy. Can't get any crispier than this. Push the button. Let it go to town. Leave it alone. Can't open it, Vivian. Let it beep, and then you know it's done. Okay, it's going to town, isn't it? Ooh, it better be perfect. It better be perfect. It's not smoke. It's maybe steam. It smells like delicious bacon. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, Jedi is about to come down here any second. This is gonna drive him nuts. Okay. The Blue button is still blue, so I guess it's still cooking. I keep hearing like clicking noises. I keep thinking it's finished, but it's not. I'll grab the finished product with these guys. Now I'm gonna do it with my hands. Thinking, I'm thinking today. Oh my goodness, it's still going. It's been forever. It's been like, what time? It's been more than five minutes. <laughs> I guess that's not a lot. But it's a long time when you're just sitting here just staring at it. Come on. Hurry up. It was 15 minutes. Okay, that was torture. That's not fast. On the box it said it'll cook bacon in minutes, in a lot of minutes, in 15 minutes. That's a long time. You might as well just cook it in your pan. Now let's open it to see what we got. Ready? One, two, three, go. Why does it keep doing that? That's not good. I'm not. <laughs> I took out my gloves while I waited because I figured I'd be touching this hot ass thing. Look, the plates come out. Fuck. We gotta take Vivian heads off for that because that is not, mm -mm. Let's see, there's one bacon. Pretty crispy. Looks good, just took too damn long. Let's check the next one. Okay, what do you guys think? Pretty crispy. It's crispier on the top than the actual sides. Take note, folks. It's not burnt, it is definitely crispy. So now let's put three more pieces and this time we'll still crisp it up, which is not as much, okay? So, ready? One. Two, three. Close it up. Now let's set right there. Hit the button. It better not take another 15 minutes. That's all I'm saying. The most exciting part is right now when you can hear all that goodness crisping up. It's finished. That wasn't 15 minutes, but it was like 12. That was too damn long. 
Remember, this should not be as crispy as these guys. One, two, three, go. Ta-da! It's okay. The crispiness is good. It's not too crispy. It's just right. The middle is way crispier than the two ends, but looks pretty good to me. And our last one. So it's cooking them nicely. I do have my complaints. The two little plates here just pop off so easily. It's annoying as hell because I made sure that they were in place before I started opening this thing. Y'all gotta fix that design error. So I think the product is okay. I think I'm more impressed with the idea of a bacon toaster. That's what I'm calling it. It's called a bacon express. I think that I am more impressed with the actual design and the idea that it's in the shape of a toaster than the actual results of the product. It's just a lot of extra work. <laughs> with the plates and the open and the taking so long and just everything. All those things, I'm not too impressed. But it works. It gave me the bacon that I wanted. Oh, okay, I picked it up and all the oil started leaking out. Oh no. Okay guys, so don't move it after you're done. Let's take out the little tray to see how much bacon grease we have. Let me unplug it first. How about that? Okay. I did collect a lot of that grease. A little pro tip, don't move this thing right after. You use it to make your bacon because it's gonna drip. So I'm gonna give Bacon Express three Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool kitchen gadget that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.